everyone welcome back to another video so today's video is just going to be a nice relaxing chit chat heart to heart i felt like really deep today <laughs> it's raining today and I've just been thinking about a lot of stuff lately. Who's stunned by the fact that 2020 is more than halfway over? We're rolling into July. And cheers, you have survived 100% of your worst days. <laughs> I brought some uh, lemon water up just because just felt like if I'm going to talk a lot, it might be good to have some water to refresh once in a while. I don't know how long I'm going to be talking here today. It's just a little chit chat with you guys. As you can see, I have put up some pins. I don't have enough pins that came with the map. So I am taking that as a good sign. Hang on, let me swivel back this way. I am taking that as a good sign that I have lived a very full life. These 30 years have been really fulfilling. This has always been my dream ever since I was uh, probably like a very young teenager was to travel the world and especially Europe. As you can see, I still have I still need more for Europe. <laughs> I also uh, was in the Canary Islands. I haven't put any in America yet just because um, that's just not as exciting to me. But once I get all my pins, I'll put it there. <laughs> I know to all of my German followers, you guys think traveling to America is like the best thing ever. I think it's just like that sense of unfamiliarity that everybody craves. Maybe not everybody, but a lot of people. <laughs> I really like having this there. I might actually get some different colored pins as well. It's such a weird day. Like it's rainy, but it's so muggy. So I get asked a lot why... I don't go home or if we ever have plans to go home and there's a lot of varying kind of financial and uh, just settlement reasons that we don't go back home to America. Home, it's very difficult to call places home uh, when you are an international multicultural family. It's uh, <laughs> what is home, <laughs> you know, like it's his home here, it's my home there and we live together. It's a, it's a very interesting dynamic to live your life and of course there will always be a big part of California or America that feels like my home but after 10 years here and I have settled in Germany longer than he has ever settled in America. I have watched a couple of videos from YouTubers who have lived abroad and then gone back and gone into a bit of like a depressive state just because I can imagine it feels super weird, like that feeling when you just move from your home country to another country, you feel probably a bit lost, and I feel like I would feel 10 times lost. I don't know why, um, but I just feel like if I were to say goodbye to this life, to this home, <laughs> Europe, I feel like I would go into a depression. To be honest, I feel like I would go back and feel as though I had failed, you know, because I I came to this new world for this new experience and it's been so enriching and, and such a blessing in so many ways that I would have a hard time saying goodbye to that and there would be something about going home that felt like failure to me. And I know maybe it sounds a bit odd, um, but I just feel like I want to keep going like I just feel very comfortable with with what I've chosen <laughs> it's very very difficult to explain and um, you know nothing against home there's so much that I miss from home I wish I could go home more often but there's just something that feels really right about being here that I can't really explain. Now, when it comes to America and Germany, you know, I think that there's maybe more things that I like about American uh, behaviors in terms of social interaction, but I have a weird connection to walking on European land and, you know, it's crazy. Like, a lot of people don't really understand this uh, connection I have to the UK after just one visit. Like, you want to move to the UK after, like, one visit? Wow. That's impulsive and crazy. First of all, hi. My name's Danielle. I'm impulsive and crazy. Okay, I'm not that bad. But, you know, I... 
I just feel comfortable in the flow of change that feels right. I feel comfortable with the idea of being on the move. I like being on the road. <laughs> I like be I like movement. I like moving energy. I like exercise. Something about living a life that is different compared to what I had the vast majority of my life is just what makes my it's gonna sound so cheesy but it actually makes my soul sing and it's hard because sometimes it can feel like you don't really have a home and I hope that this uh, video speaks to some of you expats out there I know that there are a lot of you out there who are expats um, and have relationships that are of completely different cultures you know I just really see life as an experience you know I don't get super attached to things now that being said there is something weird about England now I can tell you I don't know where my home is when it comes to Germany and America they both feel very homey <laughs> to me in many ways but I can tell you there's something weird about the way I felt when I was there and I'm using my pointer finger to make the point really clear. You know I'm serious when I'm getting the pointer finger out. Everything from the land itself, to the people, to just everything. <laughs> just everything felt very right when I was there and I'm just so grateful for that experience and so grateful to have it nearby and I I'm lucky to have friends there that I have an excuse to go visit <laughs> as well. We have so many friends and family members who, you know, they have relationships within Germany and they get married and they have kids and if their other side of the family happens to be far away, it's still just driving distance away. And I think sometimes people, they look at my life and they see how exciting it is and they see how lucky I am to have means to travel and they see how, um, awesome my kids are and they just think oh she's got everything just perfect but this life came with a lot of sacrifice and everybody goes through hardships and um, there is this real feeling of do where do I belong I had a teacher that he was just my fifth grade teacher and I just adored him so much and he said something that stuck with me forever he was really into health and fitness where is home this is your home. Your body is your home. I treat my body like it's a temple to the best of my ability. Sometimes I do splurge and whatnot. Um, but I do really think that we are just here. We are spirits having a physical experience. I just enjoy moving with the flow of where my life takes me and when opportunities come, I just seize them and I tend to learn as I go. I do like routine and I am finding that I do like routine as I get older, especially now that I'm a mom and I have kids and you know, kids need a certain level of routine. But there's a big part of me that feels really constrained and constricted in highly regimented lifestyle. <laughs> so, you know, I just like to be on the move. Like I'm completely willing to seize any opportunity so long as the wind blows me that direction. You know, the thing that I think that has helped me the most in terms of this feeling of not really feeling as though I belong anywhere is, well, me and my partner, we have a very big, uh, very big, <laughs> we have a very deep, soulful relationship. We've been together, we're, we're each other's first everything, and we've been together for 15 years, so... Another part of home for us is with each other, I feel like. Like, we're definitely, like, soulmates. You know, I think that the only way that I really cope with this feeling like I don't belong is just knowing that I am where I'm meant to be, and I, I'm not a believer in coincidence. And um, I trust that wherever I end up next is going to be just the next phase of whatever I have to experience. <clears throat> And I'm so grateful and I'm so blessed to have not enough pins to put on my, my map. <laughs> like, that's just, that is so 
fulfilling. To live in a time where you can just see the world. What a blessing. Experience new cultures. Experience... You know, and I think that might be why else I, I really like living in Europe so much is because I feel like everybody, or very often, there is a lot of people that are expats because you can move anywhere you want within the European Union. So you, don't, you do come across people of very different cultures much more often. So we all kind of, it just feels like, hey, where are you from? <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm not home either, but it's cool. And um, I think that's why else I like it so much. And I love that you can drive just three hours south and be somewhere completely different. It's just so, it would be something I would have a really hard time saying goodbye to. Like, it's just such a enriching experience and I'm just so grateful for it. And though it's really hard, I belong wherever I am right now. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and go and end on that note. And I hope that this resonated with some, some of you guys. I know it's especially hard if you are an expat family and you have little kids and I can make a whole video about how we try to stay connected with family in the US and plans to visit and hopes to visit more often. You know, income is a big factor in that. It's very far away. Uh, five plane tickets is uh, quite pricey, although I don't know what they are after all of this craziness that happened this 2020. I'll have to look into that. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. If you guys have any requests along the lines of the cultural videos, if you want more Germany, UK, uh, if you want me to start on the Italy series, I'm kind of considering that I want to try to film those videos when I'm visiting those places. I think it would just really help me get into the mood and the mindset so that I can create like just a better vibe for you guys. That's why I film a lot of Germany ones. So let me know if you guys have any requests in the comment section and if you related to anything I said in this video. And yes, I hope you have a great day and I hope that wherever you are in the world you find a way to feel home, and I will see you guys next time.